If you want to learn how to make a website from scratch, watch this video. It's super easy. Let's do this. All right, guys, welcome to this video. We are going to talk about how to get into front end web development, which is basically creating what a website looks like. I'm going to dive right into it. I'm going to explain, you know, how I did it and I think how you should do it. So first, I'm going to show you a little bit of coding and I'm going to show you how really easy it is to get your first website up kind of your first website you know it's a quick way to make something tiny but I'll show you how easy it is to actually do that let's get to it so if you're on a MacBook which I currently am you can start off by going to your launch pad opening up a text edit oops I did not want to do that you can do new document that's fine so you got your document here first thing you're going to want to do is go to the top left you're going to hit format make plain text so you have just a blank white screen now here's where you're going to write your code and then you're going to save it so the easiest thing you can do is you can make a heading and basically like a paragraph and in html is pretty much what you're going to be writing here html is like i said in the previous video the bones of a website it's all the groundwork you know all your text all your headings any type of words you see on the screen that portray to the screen so we are going to write something called an h1 now an h1 is a heading one it is the largest heading you will find in an html document and we are going to write welcome to my website now you can't just leave it like this you're going to have to type the same thing closing h1 so here you see this h1 here that's an opening h1 tag and this closing h1 tag has a um, forward slash right before your tag so h1 is a tag and you write the two carrots on the outside and then your closing tag will have the two carrots and a forward slash right before your uh, tag so welcome to my website we're pretty much done to be completely honest all right so now from here you're going to go file save save as we'll say website dot html now the dot html extension is the most important extension you're going to have that's what puts it on the internet where desktop is fine unicode utf8 is totally fine you can leave this check or uncheck doesn't matter i'm going to hit save you have used the extension .html at the end of the name. The standard extension is text. We're going to hit use .html. And you have a completed website. I'll see you guys in the next video. Just kidding. So, that's pretty much the website though. That's like most bare bones you can go. So over here, let's right click. Open with Google Chrome. There's your website. Welcome to my website there it is pretty nice right so let's exit out of that we'll close all this down and let's go a little more into it so let's throw a a p is a paragraph tag so let's type by brandon gormley once again we have to do another paragraph tag and we're going to put the forward slash in to close it so let's go up to file save and let's open this once again Google Chrome so now you got another thing and as you can see this is a heading an h1 and there's a paragraph this is like the standard way they start so now you say hey, Brandon how do you change you know welcome to my website what if I want it a little smaller a little bigger I'll show you that in a second so let's try put another heading up we're going to do a heading 2. So in HTML, there's h1, h2, h3, h4, h5, and h6. And h1 is the most important topic. h2 would be second, third, fourth, etc., etc. And it'll affect, uh, affect their size as well. So for heading 2, we'll put, um, we got welcome to my website. We're going to put topics. Once again, let's close our tag. Not a question mark, but 
H2 forward slash to close, control S to save. And let's open this up again. Boom, there you go, welcome to my website, that's your H1. Topics, as you can see, it's a little smaller, a little less important. That's an H2, you got your paragraph by Brandon Gormley, that is a regular paragraph tag. Now I'm gonna show you something real quick that you're not gonna really wanna learn until you completely know HTML, and that's how to add color. It's what CSS is, and CSS is cascading, cascading style sheets. That's where you pretty much add all the color, the images, give them styles. Well, images you add in HTML, but they give the images style. Make them, you know, a circle, a rectangle, an eclipse, a slideshow. That kind of stuff is where CSS gets involved. You can position it in different areas with CSS, etc. HTML is literally the most bare bone you can get. Think of a skeleton, it's just your bones. So, let's exit out of that. And I'm going to show you the worst way to add CSS into your um, website. And this is the only way I will currently be able to do it with what we're handed here. Um, so let's give our H1 a red color. So we're gonna type style, and this is in your first tag. So this is like in your first, not your closing tag, but your opening tag. Style equal two quotation marks, colors, colon, we'll say red. Control save. So as you can see, we have um, H1 opening tag. We have style equals, and then in exclamation points, color, colon, space, red. So let's open that back up, and there you go, we have red. Now obviously you can change this to any other color, green, whoops, green, open that back up, wrong thing, you got green, let's put on there blue, save it, open it, boom, you get the point, um, like I said that is the most basic way to learn HTML and how to make a website as you can see we're pretty much we have something You know it took us a couple minutes. and we made technically a website now you can go a lot more into this You know say you wanted to uh, Go into topics and then write you know a p tag and go um, Not a p tag you'd probably put another heading tag, but we'll use a p tag for now um, You know you put animals Close that off, open another one, cars, let's give that a save, open it up, see so you're getting something. So topics, welcome to my website, you want to talk about animals and cars, so you can have like animals, colon, and then list all animals, what those animals do, yada yada, cars, same thing. So that is the most basic way to write a website, as you can see that was very easy. Now if you're on Windows, you do the same exact process, just open up like your notepad or a Word document and just save it as .html and then open it the same way with like Google Chrome. As long as you're saved as a .html, that's where you're good. So now that I covered all of that, it doesn't look like a website, but as you can see, that's what it came out as. Now that I covered that, let's go over um, how I got started in learning how to make websites. All right, as you guys just saw, I showed you how to make a website or the most basic, 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 basic version of a website. But as you can see, you wrote something, you saved it, and you can see it right away. You know, a lot of back-end programming languages or actual quote-unquote programming languages, HTML and CSS are not really programming languages. They're more so um, just ways to type in information to portray on a web page. So like your JavaScript, your Python, your C++, your Java, all that, you'll have to write a lot more in-depth code to see anything. So those aren't exactly visual, whereas it took us, what, two, three minutes and we pretty much came up with something. Now if you spent like an hour into that, two hours, three hours, you could come up with something pretty pretty nice, pretty quick, um, even with like zero knowledge, which is how I got addicted very quickly uh, back in December of 2018 now. 
My brother uh, told me to learn HTML and CSS because I was I wanted to really get into programming and coding, and I have a design background, so HTML and CSS were the two starting points to get a website up and running. And then once I started learning them, I pretty much did what I just showed you guys, and I was like, wow, this is it. This is fun. I'm addicted. And it was honestly, like, keeping me out of the gym. I was, like, doing this for 12, 14 hours a day, and I was pushing the gym back further and further and further, which isn't the best thing, but that's how I knew it was going to become my passion pretty darn quick. Um, you know, it's nice to type something and then see it right away. Now, as you can see, we just use text edit on a Mac book and you can use notepad if you're on windows those aren't recommended i just wanted to show you something real quick without confusing you too much you know there's different text editors such as visual studio Co visual studio code adam is one sublime text is another and once you get into them they'll color code everything for you they'll pretty much make sure you have your opening and closing tags they'll provide you like a template that Put your website uh your code on a website or your it's a template that lays everything out for you so it'll give you like your h1 there it'll give you your uh your p tag it'll give you all your tags you just fill in the information it's fantastic and they give you a lot of shortcuts so you're not sitting there typing and typing and typing over and over and over again but for this video i really just wanted to give you guys a bare bones um way to get into web development as you see I just provided the most basic way you could think of or I could think of and the most bare bones way I think a website could be made without going into like a wix.com or any type of like Squarespace and something like that where you just drag and drop images pictures text um, when it comes to getting jobs in web development you cannot be doing that or like when you freelance you shouldn't really do that you should kind of get the groundwork done and the website we just made, you could literally buy like a domain, so www.johnsmith.com if that's not taken, and you could upload that file into johnsmith.com, and then you go to www.johnsmith.com, and that's exactly what you'll see. But that's a topic for another video, um, how to upload a website like that. It's a lot, lot, lot more in depth. But like I said, I really just wanted to give you a bare bones thing, and this is exactly how I got started. In my video, you saw Treehouse. They have a seven-day free trial running, so if you want to learn in depth and quick and a lot of information very easily, I highly recommend them. You can also go to like Udemy.com. They'll have an HTML course you could take um, where they'll teach you everything. YouTube.com, you can learn for free there. W3 Schools is the first thing I used when I got started. It'll take you step by step on really how to make an HTML document and turn that into a web page. But I really think everybody needs to learn some type of code, whether that is only HTML and CSS, or if they really want to go deep into like JavaScript and uh, C++, Java, etc., etc. I think it will be a skill that will be worldwide used come. Um, very soon you know if you don't know how to use a computer the future is all computers if you don't know how to talk to a computer which is coding and programming i think you will be left behind so do me a favor get started this is i just showed you the most basic way of learning how to code um as you saw we just made that little snippet of a website there um it's how i got started and fell in love pretty quickly you know just Give it, a, give it a try, learn for a couple days. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, at least you can say you tried. But 30 years from now, you can't look back and be like, you know what, I never even tried and now I'm left behind. You could say you tried, you just didn't like it. So other than that, that'll be the video. I'm glad you guys um, clicked on this video and watched this. I really hope you, you know, give it a like, comment if you have any questions, subscribe to my channel. We have a lot of stuff coming with coding, fitness, hopefully this virus ends soon so we can really get back in the gym, everyone can kind of get back to the way their life lived, the way their life lived, the way they lived their life. I'm going to stop rambling. Till then, catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for all the support. Have a great day, great week, great month. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay safe. Stay safe.
I'll see you guys later. Peace.